I thought I could like make this very interesting first day at work vlog, but first day I'm already a bit late I had a horrible sleep schedule the past few days so it's now 9 a.m. I think so now let's drive to the office oh, I made it without an accident yay uh, not particularly confident in my driving ability but thankfully everything went well it wasn't super full on the street so now I'm in our parking garage of the office thankfully we have one and thankfully um, I could park in peace and made it into my parking spot. Right, it's now almost 10 a.m. I really wanted to be here earlier, but oh well, didn't really get a fixed time when I needed to be here. So, right, I am super nervous, if you can tell. Um, I have no idea what I'm really supposed to do. Like, I just get, I just guess I go in and then ask what's up and what I'm supposed to be doing. But yeah, nervous. I don't really know what to think, it feels super surreal to go to my first real job. Feels weird, nervous, rambling, alright, I'll see you later, bye! So time-wise, after I arrived, it took me a while to like find everyone. We didn't really do much before lunch because we arrived at only like 10 and then at 12 we already did lunch, but we had lunch together and like looked at the local supermarket which is really close and we could walk there. Afterwards we had like a huge long meeting where our manager told us everything about like what we could expect from our first few months and all the tools we use and one thing we did talk about was like what our all of our expectations were going into this job and like sort of syncing this up. We were also assigned a mentor sort of person from the team which we can annoy with all of our questions. We did get sort of our own little internal project because like I said, we're three new people in the team, in the data science team. We were told to like explicitly treat it like a project. So like create a daily meeting, for example, and get familiar with all the co-working tools we have. Like Alright, so it's 7 p.m. and I'm back in my car. That was a long day, I guess. I mean, I didn't have to like work a lot. It was a lot of onboarding and I'm gonna think things over and then I'm gonna tell you about it when I get home, hopefully. My first impression was very lovely. I mean, I've known the, some people of the team for a while but I didn't know what it would be like as a full-time real team member and along with me two other people started. One of them I knew from university. She didn't really study with me but we have worked together on some uh, lectures and the other was obviously totally new but they are both very lovely people. Yeah, so we're in this together you could say so it's lovely to not be the only person who's clueless. The lights in the parking garage just went off, so see you at home. I've had a bit of time after arriving home to relax and calm down. It was honestly quite overwhelming to be in the office for nine hours or something. Obviously it's been a while since I've been at university or at the office because of the current pandemic and stuff and also just a lot of new impressions and new people to meet and new ways to talk about stuff. 
it hasn't really hit me yet that this is now a daily thing that I do. I mean, obviously not every day will be like this, but the like thought of going to a job every day or going to my computer and having a job every day is still just very weird. It still feels like I'm doing, I don't know, a semester break project or something or an internship and like it's very surreal that this is now a long-term thing. <laughs> I think I'm just tired. It's 11 p.m. and I just I think I just have to go to bed and process everything. <laughs> but for now, thanks so much for watching and bye!